This is Joe Pugh for IFL TV. We're here, York Hall, victorious once again. Raven Chapman, another title fight, another win, another win at York Hall. Uh, yeah, just sum it up for me. Yeah, it was good. I had a tough opponent in Lucy. She was strong. She was, you know, game. Uh, we knew she was going to be a little bit tricky the first couple of rounds, so it's just a case of sort of feeling it out, seeing where she goes, and after that, just start implementing the game plan, and start breaking her down, and that's exactly what we did. I think Frank Warren's already put on his socials career best performance, but it seems like every time you do step up in a opponent, it kind of unlocks a new level to, to your game. Do you, how, how has it been kind of progressing now? Because we are at a stage where you can't really go any other level apart from world title. Yeah, that's what we say. The better the opponent you put in front of me, the better Raven you're going to see. Me and my coach have always said it. You know, there's career best, best performance Frank Warren says, but there's still so much more to see from me, so much more than that. That's only a fraction of what I can do and, and yeah, just a lot more to come. A great way to top off 2023 as well. You've always been called the Queen of Queensbury, but now you're kind of the face of female boxing for TNT Sports, the biggest or not second biggest broadcaster in the UK. So, yeah, been kind of breakout year for Raven Chapman, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been it's been amazing, you know, really humbling that Queensbury now have three other female fighters on their roster. Um, I'm really excited to see how their journeys like flourish being of Queensbury as mine has and hopefully they go in the same direction. Um, and yeah, just just happy with the way things are. And now let's push for a bigger 2024. It seems as though you were the first, the Queen of Queensbury. Surely it's only right that you get a nod in Saudi first of all. Yeah, hundred percent. Why not? Why not be the first female world title fight out in Saudi on one of the biggest cards, you know, uh, of of the year? Just get get me that world title shot, and I'll show what I'm about. Do you believe you will? fight Amanda Serrano for the world title next year? I believe if we can make it happen in Saudi, I think they'll take it. What are the other fights that kind of get your appetite going? We know the Sky Nicholson fight is always there. Is that one more for the UK or would you go anywhere to fight Sky? Yeah, I'd go anywhere to fight Sky and I'm sure Sky would go anywhere to fight me as well. If it's in the UK, you know, we're both based in the UK, both have a fan base in the UK, but... It's a big fight as well, so why not get it on a big card? We could get that out in Saudi, you know, anything like that. Get the big fights, make them happen. The big names will come, but is it a case of unlocking that key of becoming a world champion? So you've got that piece of the puzzle to kind of state your name and your little bargaining chip for those big fights? Yeah, 100%. That's obviously what I want as a fighter. It's what most people want as a fighter. They want to be the best. They want to fight the best. And, you know, the person who's got the belts is the best in the division, one of the pound found greatest. It would be an absolute honour to be able to fight her for, for the, all the jewels. Excellent, Raven. Thank you very much for being to IFL TV. Congratulations on your win. Anything else you'd like to say? Maybe thank the sponsors and the fans? Just a massive thank you to all my sponsors that have supported me, uh, all the fans that came and supported, and obviously um, this fight was just for my uh, cousin, Frank, who sadly passed away after my last fight, and he came to pretty much all of my fights. That's why I got the blue and white uh, in honour of Frank for this fight. Great way to finish that. Thank you very much, Raven, and uh, have a good Christmas, and I'll see you next year. Thank, Thank you very much. You, see you next year.